x plus y equal to z. Okay, can you give me some solution for this? 1 plus? 1 plus 2 equal to 3. Great. Got a chocolate. <laughs> it was an easy chocolate. <laughs> okay, any more solutions? No chocolates now. Huh? <laughs> 2 plus 2, 4. I, you have right millions and zillions of solutions. Right? Okay, so let's make it a little complicated. x squared plus y squared equal to z squared. Huh? 3, 4, 5. Okay, you also got a chocolate. Yeah? 3, 4, 5, yeah, 30, 40, 50 would be, or even 6, 8, 10. You just multiply and, okay. So, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 5, 12, 13, whatever. So many solutions are there. What is this, by the way? The Pythagoras theorem. Which states? What does it state? Where? In a right angle triangle. Very important. People forget that. Okay. So, what it says is, given a right angle triangle, and if these are the sides, then x squared is equal to, x squared plus y squared is equal to z squared. Okay. In a right angle triangle, if the three sides are x, y, and z, x squared plus y squared is z squared. This is what Pythagoras theorem states. And we say, yeah, a big deal, you know. I mean, I know it. Right? But it is not immediately obvious. See, if you look at that triangle, can you say, of course, x squared plus y squared is z squared? You can't say that. Right? Especially if you have another triangle sitting next to it, like that. Yeah? And you have a third triangle sitting here. Then you start saying, really? Are you sure like x squared plus y squared is z squared here, here, and here? It's not obvious, right? In fact, Pythagoras theorem is considered to be the first great theorem of mathematics. So, so let's prove Pythagoras, the Pythagoras theorem. Okay, now for that, we require one more result. Before we can prove Pythagoras theorem, we have to prove something else. That something else is, what is a plus b the whole square? A square plus 2a plus b square. Very good. A plus b the whole squared is? a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. Brilliant. Why? What why? It's a formula. <laughs> we just keep this as one result that we have already got and now we go to Pythagoras' theorem. What is Pythagoras' theorem state? In a right angle triangle. Now any right angle triangle. Right? It has to be any right angle triangle. Okay. So, Let's do, let's make any right angle triangle. Now, how do I make an any right angle triangle? So, I'm going to draw a line, okay, and you tell me to stop, and I'll stop, okay? Please tell me to stop before I run out of the blackboard, whiteboard, okay? Uh, so, you tell me to stop. So, whenever you tell me to stop, so it will be a random line. It, it could have been bigger, smaller, right? So, ready? Tell me to stop. Stop, stop. You're happy with this size? Yes? yes? Okay, so now this is an arbitrary line, completely arbitrary. You could have said stop earlier, later, right? So if I can prove the result for this line, it means it can. It is proof for all the lines. Okay. Now I want an arbitrary point on this line. Again, I'm going to move the pen. You tell me to stop. We will take the point there. Okay. Ready? Tell me to stop. Stop. Here. Oh, okay. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Allowed. <laughs> okay. So, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call this x and this y. You agree that this length could be anything. You agree that this point could be anywhere, right? So, if you can prove for this x, this x and this y, it means we have proved for all x and all y. Agreed? Let us make a square out of this. Okay, that's a square even looks like one. Okay. Then I take this <coughs> yes. Okay. Now I join okay, let me use another color. I join these points.
yeah. All right. Now, this is z. Okay. So, what is the area of this square? X plus y, the whole square is from here. Yeah. So, the area of the square x plus y is x plus y, the whole square, which is x squared plus 2xy plus y squared from this result. It is also equal to the area of the four triangles plus the area of the smaller square. What is the area of the smaller square? Z squared. Z squared. Plus 4 into what is the area of the small triangles? Half base into height. Right? So 2 ones are 2, 2 twos are 4. 2xy will cancel with 2xy and you get x squared plus y squared is z squared which is Pythagoras theorem.